bill passing. But what does it mean for you? That's the most important question this morning. Your emails filling up our inbox. CPA and founder of Geltrude and Company, Daniel J. Geltrude, joins us now to answer some of your questions. That we were hoping that this tax bill would um, eliminate the need for you, but that's not the case. As <laughs> we're learning, back, thankfully. <laughs> so here's an email from one of our viewers: Will teachers still be able to deduct costs for the supplies they purchase for students because schools cannot afford to provide it? For example, chalk, etc. Good news for teachers. Originally, it was going to be at two hundred and fifty dollars of out-of-pocket costs that they would be able to deduct. It's been doubled up to 500. I think that's a good thing. If teachers are willing to put money out of their own pocket, they should get a benefit. So for hold it. on. The, the idea was simplifying the code. Generally speaking, is this code simplified or made more complex? Uh, it's a little bit simpler, but overall, uh, people are not going to be able to get rid of their tax preparers so quickly. <laughs> All right. That's why we're getting emails. Nancy <laughs> emailed us saying, I'm retired living in upstate New York. What does this tax reform do for people who live on retirement and rely on Medicaid or Medicare and Social Security? As it looks right now with the Senate plan, there's really not going to be any impact for somebody who's living off of retirement savings. So whatever tax rates they're falling into pretty much either way will stay consistent or pay a little less. Hmm. What about uh, uh, Obamacare? Did the bill still include, this comes from Dominic, the elimination of the individual mandate from Obamacare? If not, why not? And by the way, people are also asking about medical deductions. So what happened is, is that the individual mandate has been repealed. It's gone. Why did they do that? Because it was going to free up between 300 and 400 billion in this tax plan. But what's going to happen as a result of that individual mandate going away, the people who are still buying insurance, their premiums are going to go up. So what this bill does is it's giving them a two year extension to still be able to deduct medical costs, Mm -hmm. two year period, then it goes away. All right, we have another uh, email question from Bill. He wants to know, what are the new tax brackets passed in the Senate bill? Well, the Senate bill is going to have seven tax brackets, similar to what we currently have. How about one? So it's not. (laughs) (laughs) On the other hand, the House bill has four. So this goes to reconciliation. When you talk about simplification, seven tax brackets, not so much. Yeah. Right. So that's where we are but now. But maybe in conference it'll get down to five or six, so we'll see. We have you next hour and the hour after. You're answering these questions. Very important. We appreciate it, Dan. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Coming up, mainstream media. Celebrate.